the ones who don't say they love you. You're on the sidewalk out front of the convenience store. The sun beat down like it do every morning. The street cleaner passed by spraying lemonade smelling water. You get your tennis shoes. Shoes that's coming loose at the heel. So your socks get wet too. Soapy water drip down the curb. Not like this street stay clean long. Mr. Jelnick round the corner like he being dogged. He ain't much to look at. They never is. He like the other men who come down for foot fixing conventions and brain fixing conventions. He got a fat neck and skin like old peaches. His wallet fat too. That all you care about. Jelnick eye you from crotch to mouth. He pull out a pack. He smoke. You pull one from the pack and light yours with his. Why are you the only one out here this morning? He asked. He covered his eyes halfway. The sun glare off the Mississippi River Bridge like, I see you, boy. I'm the only one you need, you say. True enough. The other tap was already off to work. Probably almost done with the men they left with. They left you with the tip box. The box is for your protection. You wear bottle caps on your soles and dance so people think you and others are simple monkeys. A police car roll up the street. The lights flash, blue, white, blue. But the car don't slow down. Even though the cop lean over to get an eyeful of your faces. Jelnick's butt cheeks tense up. You can tell him, don't sweat it. We like seeing him squirm. If you didn't see him squirm, if you didn't like seeing him squirm, you tell him the cops never arrest Johns. Especially not Johns from either fucking hope. And what you do probably make the cops puke anyway. You see, it's easy to lock up dudes for shooting dudes. That's good business. But putting a junior high slut in jail, that's bad business. If they hear all about what you do, people stop coming to the town. You all starve then. The stoplight turned green. The police car pull off. Jelnick's ass relax. You don't really need to, to tap to stay out of jail. But if you don't fake it, what else you got? Jell Nick the only one who buy you food after he do his business. So now you sore inside and out. But you're starving too. The queen he cooked behind the counter? Flipping pancakes. Maybe that pancake take your mind off how rough Jell Nick handled you. Jell Nick's toast and runny eggs come out first. He squirt ketchup all over. He gulp coffee, get a refill, gulp that too. He don't give you none. Your stomach growl. When you bring food to the corner, the other tappers take most of it, leave you the scrap. Most days you don't eat till you go home, but today, you hungry. What the shit is the holdup? The queenie cook went in back, and your pancakes sitting on the cold side of the grill like a frisbee that just stopped spinning. Jelnick been here all week. The first day he show up, he take Pink and Quincy first, one in the morning and the other around lunch. He come back for you, afternoon time, rocking up the street with his hair stuck to his forehead. After he take a piece of you, he never buy with Pink and Queenie selling again. Jelnick been here all week. The first day he show up, he take Pink and Quincy first, one in the morning and the other around lunch. He come back for you around noontime, rocking up the street with hair stuck to his forehead. After he take a piece of you, he never buy with Pink and Quincy selling again. That's a plus on top of the money. It's the only time you want out when they're around. You're too dark and your hair ain't wavy and good like pink hair. But now you can laugh inside when you see them. But don't laugh out loud. They punch you if you smile. Jelnick break out a roll of cash. He put down two $20 bills, one for the food and one for you. 21 cup of the food. So that'll come out what you earn. When I leave tonight, Jelnick say, I want you to come with me. He pours sugar in his coffee. His finger got ketchup on it that he don't see. He stirs his finger with that coffee. I'll get you a plane ticket. And I have a storage unit you can stay in until we find you something more appropriate. Man, you say, I ain't going to nobody, Idaho. Listen to me, he say. You can do better than this place. It's not safe for you. Nobody mess with me around here, you say. 
He put a hand on your face where you bruised from where Pink hit you the other day. And you like to flinch away, but you don't because his hand feel warm. You don't know anything, Jelnick said. I've been visiting New Orleans for over 20 years. You think you're the first, you're one of the first boys to stand on that corner? What do you think happened to the boys who were there before you? You could tell Jelnick about Pink's brother, Simi, who went puff like Matchmoke last month. Simi was the first one you met when you came out here. He looked out for you, but now he's gone. You know he ain't go to Idaho. Why you care what happened to me, you ask? Just be back at the corner around 6 p.m. with your personal belongings. I'll be in a Graceport utility vehicle. When Jelna get up, the stool squeaked like it being stabbed. Your pancake, black and crusty, still dying on that grill. The queen and cook wearing mascara and hoop earrings, so you know he'll full on marry. He flipped the pancake to your plate. He smacked the plate down. It sounds like it crack, but it don't. He shake his head at you like he better than you. You want to jump over the counter and stomp his face on the grill or make him suck your junk. You want to make him say your name like he mean it, but he groan. He break you in five pieces if you try. You be on the wrong end like always. The pancake darker than you. You don't touch it. You snatch all the money and run. The cook yell after you, but those just words. <laughs> Lorraine don't have no legs. When you go into the house with a box of chicken and biscuits, she back early from the casino downtown. She in her spot in front of the TV. You bought toilet paper and chocolate milk too. She don't even look up. She eat a bag of orange puffs. Her lips orange. She keep them on her lap so the little kids won't get in her. None of you like getting close to her. She grabbed too hard. You go to the kitchen and put the chicken down. You get out the back door for the little boys rolling around in the grass by the flat tire pickup truck. The boys are foster boys like you. Lorraine get a check every two weeks for keeping y'all. You don't get any because she called it rent. She take rent to the casino. And if she went, she don't tell you. You better find your own, she always say. But she eat what you bring home. Her cut, she call it. You go back to the kitchen, you open the box, and a roach in it. The little boys come in the back door screaming and smacking each other. You can't let them see that roach because they won't eat. You don't have money to buy more. And a little bit of chicken you brought ain't enough for them anyway. You pop the bug in your mouth. Jelnick's storage shed must be pretty big. A big man wouldn't have a small shed. A big man would have a shed big enough to do cartwheels in. Now his condo in the French Quarter is small. But everything in the French Quarter is small. If everything was big, it'd be the French dollar. <laughs> when he puts you in position, he stare out the window. And there's a tree outside with hard-shaped leaves. You count those leaves. You never get past 15. And all the times you done business with Jelnick, he never say he love you. And that's the only reason you listen to him at all. The other ones always love you. You don't want to see Pink and Quincy at the corner, but they tap dance extra fast. They try to wring the last bit of pocket change out of the tourist before it get dark. The cops won't take you in for Huston Johns, but they don't stand for curfew breakers. It don't look right for taps to be on the street after dark. And what don't look right? It's bad for business. Bottle caps scraping concrete make you sick like you eat a, a crate full of bottle caps. And you wonder where Joe Nick at. It's after time. You wonder if you feel better when he come around. Where you been at, Quincy say. Not making any, I bet Pink say. Ain't never got his shit together, this baby here. You tell him to suck a horse. And they howl. Oh, you a salty little bitch today, huh? Pink say. You slow? You tell him you ain't slow. You tell him you about to get paid. You tell him you're leaving with Joe Nick as soon as he get here. Humpty Dumpty? Quincy frown? That man ain't bring you nowhere, as boy. Pink say. A great SUV down the block. It look like it's going to turn before it make it to you. So you stop looking. Quincy pinch your shoulder. You're serious, ain't you, baby? He coming for me, you say. I bet you 20 he ain't, Pink say. Pink wrestle you and snatch your lash from your pocket. It's only a five. Pink say that'll do until you get more. You tell him you ain't lost yet. Pink say he good for the night and leave with your five. You only have one bottle cap for you to shoot, but you're gonna pass some time tapping. Make some change to buy a cold drink because your mouth tastes like funk. You dance until that cap break loose and roll into the gutter. Something flash. A police car creep you away. The lights beep slow, but the car speed up. You can't see the cop driving, 
with hands and cuffs pressed on the back seat glass. Jail Nick face behind those hands. You step into the street, are you gonna follow? But you don't. <laughs>